Hey guys, thank you for joining me once again for your up to the time broadcast. And in the stories this evening, a Jamaica Defense Force soldier was shot and killed while operating a taxi in the Papine area of St. Andrew at about 9.30 p.m. on Wednesday night. The police have confirmed that the deceased soldier, who is from Spanish Town St. Catherine, was traveling along Rocky Road when he was shot in the back of the head. Head of the St. Andrew Central Police Division, Senior Superintendent Marlon Nesbeth, said that an investigation has already commenced to find the perpetrators. Reports are that at about 9.30 p.m., the soldier was driving a motor car somewhere called Rocky Road between UTEC and the National Water Commission system when he was shot. The police have theorized that the shot came from within the car as there were several persons in the car with him. They were able to make their escape, but the police are still piecing the clues together at the moment. And in other stories this evening, reputed leader of the Klansman Wandon gang, Andre Blackman Bryan, and nine of his alleged cronies were today acquitted on three counts in connection to four murders. The men were found not guilty by Chief Justice Brian Sykes on three separate counts of facilitating an applicable offense by a criminal organization. Brian, Jazeel Blake, Andre Golding, and Tariq James have been cleared in relation to the murder of a bus driver in November 2017. Danielle McKenzie brothers Pete and Marco Miller, Dwight Hall and Kemar Harrison were acquitted of the murders of two men in St. Catherine in 2017. Marco Miller, Chevroy Evans and Andre Golding have been acquitted in relation to a February 2018 murder. Five cases of acupoisoning poisoning in Manchester in the past two weeks have prompted the Manchester Health Department issue a warning to members of the public to be cautious in the preparation and consumption of the fruit. Of the five cases, one person died while the others were treated and sent home. Medical Officer of Health from Manchester, Dr. Nadine Williams, explains that only fit and well-opened ackies are to be used and that ackies should be allowed to open naturally and fully on the tree before being picked or eaten or sold. The Medical Officer of Health points out that the symptoms of acupoisoning poisoning include vomiting, stomach cramps, abdominal pain, dizziness, diarrhea, and sweating. She also noted that the blood sugar levels can fall to a critically low level leading to death. If the symptoms are experienced after an acu meal, it is important to seek medical attention immediately and have a sweet drink on the way to the hospital. The Manchester police are probing the stabbing death of a man in the Wales district in Newport this morning. Dead is Ricardo Williams, a 21-year-old construction worker of Wales district. According to the police, at approximately 8.05 a.m., Williams had a dispute with a friend. During the altercation, Williams was stabbed and injured. He was taken to hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. And also this evening, Romeo Fullerton, the man charged with the murder of a fruit vendor on Valentine's Day, was remanded when he appeared in the Clarendon Parish Court today. Fullerton, 20 years old, of Effortville in Maypen, Clarendon, will remain in custody until the next court hearing on March 21st. Fullerton is charged with the shooting death of 27-year-old Keith McIntosh of Mocko, Clarendon. It is alleged that about 9.30 p.m. on February 14, McIntosh was selling fruits in Maypen, Clarendon, when he was shot in the head and upper body by an assailant. McIntosh was pronounced dead at the Maypen Hospital and an investigation launched. Fullerton was subsequently arrested and charged with the murder. A security guard at Kemp's Hill High School in Clarendon had to come to the aid of a senior teacher who got into a fight with a student. A video of the incident which went viral on social media showed the teacher and the student pushing and getting in each other's faces before they tussled to the ground. 
In the video, other students looked on and laughed as the student got up in the teacher's face before the teacher pushed him away. This was when he attacked the teacher with punches, draped and pulled him to the ground. As they tussled, a security guard rushed in and he and the teacher held the student on the ground. The video ended as other students surrounded them laughed. It is the latest in a string of violent incidents at the nation's schools. In February, two Denham Town High School boys were caught on video inflicting a vicious beating on their schoolmate and are now before the family court answering to assault charges. Barrington Richardson, the regional director for Region 7 within the Ministry of Education, has described the video as most unfortunate. He said efforts are on the way to get a detailed report regarding the circumstances of the incident. And finally this evening, the People's National Party PNP has been plunged into mourning following the death of Councillor Lincoln Dixon on Thursday morning. Dixon was the party's standard bearer for the Islington Division in St. Mary and was also the sitting chairman of Region 2. PNP President Mark Golding offered his condolence to the family members and said that the party is shocked and saddened by the sudden passing of Dixon as it was only last Saturday that Dixon buried his son. Thank you once again for tuning in for your up-to-the-time broadcast. Do enjoy the rest of your day.